What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get started into today's video, I just want to say this takes a lot for me to be on camera without any makeup on. Like this has always been something I've been very insecure about. Um, so just know that this is like a huge step for me. Like I always wanted to do like makeup videos and things like that, but I was always very hesitant to be on camera without makeup on. So here I am <laughs> and you know I'm really excited about this because I do want to expand my YouTube channel I don't want it to be just fitness of course I'm still gonna do um, fitness is gonna be mainly fitness stuff but I do want to bring on some more vlogs some more beauty because I feel like it all kind of all goes together um, you know it's health and beauty and things like that so I'm really excited to be filming this my everyday makeup routine kind of get ready with me I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys would like to see it and you guys said yes so yeah so here we are so I am here and like my beauty guru kind of setup like I have my lights I feel like such a beauty guru right now um, I've never done this before so hopefully you guys can see everything and I can actually do this do my makeup on camera because I've never done it like this before so I have my little desk here I have my wine I love you guys I love sweet wine like I'm just like a, such a sweet wine fanatic this is Barton Bartonora Moscato. If you guys haven't tasted it, I recommend for you guys to taste it. Obviously, if you're over 21, so good. So, I'm gonna be sipping on this. Let's get started. It's it, seriously, my makeup routine is very easy. Um, I can do my makeup in like 10 minutes. I know it's gonna take a little bit longer because I'm gonna be filming, but it really is easy. So, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you guys my eyebrows are microbladed. So I don't need to do my eyebrows anymore, which seriously used to take me so much time. So if you guys have been contemplating on getting eyebrows microbladed, I definitely recommend it because I don't have to do them anymore. They're already done. Beautiful. Okay, so I I start off very weirdly, right? I start off with eyeliner. <laughs> um, so I just go straight into doing my eyeliner first. I've been doing eyeliner for years. Like if I don't have eyeliner on my eyes, I feel naked. So. Um, the way that I do my eyeliner, uh, oh wait, I should be telling you guys what eyeliner I'm using. <laughs> so this is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. Can you focus? Are you gonna focus? No. All right. If it's if the products don't focus, I'm just gonna like put them on the side. Um, so this is Revlon Color Stay in the color Black is Black. And I love this because this literally lasts me for so long. It doesn't like run out really quickly. And it has like this um, pointy, it's not super skinny, but it's just like the regular one. Don't get the super skinny one. So this one, it makes it super easy for me to put it on my eyelids. So what I basically do is I kind of like stamp it onto my eyes and then just like do the end of the wing liner. I know it's going to sound very confusing, but I'm going to try to show you guys on camera without messing up since I have like I don't know how to do this with my mirror um so yeah so I kind of just stamp like go get to the closest to like my lash line and just stamp and just keep going like that And then fill in any spots. I kind of messed up already. <laughs> and then I just kind of just do the ends. Okay, so then I like stretch out my eyes for some reason. It makes it a lot easier for me to do that wing. And I just kind of carve out the sides and then I kind of fill it in until like the almost the bottom of my lash. Or the bottom of my eye, sorry. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna like try to fix this. And this one came out kind of crooked because obviously it's hard to do it while trying to be on camera, but now on to the other side. So as, as long as you guys master like the stamping, you'll be good. Next, I do my mascara. So, I mean, I don't really like put so much effort into it. I kind of just, I don't know. I don't like to spend too much time doing my makeup unless I'm going to an, an event and that's different. But 
recently like these are my two favorite mascaras so the great lash by maybelline and the voluminous lash paradise is my other favorite too Let's see if i can get the yeah no, it's not gonna focus but i'll post it so these two are my favorite so i'm gonna start off with this one um and just you know go from there when i'm like i usually just put like um fake lashes on so i'm not really used to putting mascara anymore but let's see and then I'm gonna do this one on top of that. If it opens. Yeah, this one's already getting dry, so it's still working. Okay, so that's it for mascara. And then I go straight into concealer. So before I started, I do wanna say I do not wear foundation. Um, I just never really do. I feel like whenever I do wear foundation, I break out. So it's, I feel like then it's a cycle. Like then I want to wear foundation to cover the breakouts and that stuff. But usually I always have had like almost my my whole life. I actually always have had pretty good clear skin. Um, maybe like sometimes I might get like a really big zit somewhere, but most of the time I have pretty clear skin, which I'm very fortunate of. So I don't really wear foundation um, only if I'm doing like a photo shoot or if I'm going to like a very special event or I just want to like really be, be glam, then I wear foundation. So for concealer, oh man, you guys, this is like one of my favorite concealers. Um, this is from L'Oreal Paris, infallible full wear. Like it really is a full coverage concealer. Um, and it's obviously inexpensive. All, almost all the stuff I have, I got them from the drugstore. Like. I mean, I do have some stuff from like Sephora, but man, drugstore stuff is just like the best. And I love how big the wand is. Look how big that is. So I kind of just do like two dots. Obviously, it depends on like how much coverage I want. And then I'm going to use my beauty blender. My damp beauty blender, I'm just going to like blend it out into like a triangle. So it's kind of like a reverse contour on your nose when you do that reverse triangle on your face. Blend the other side before it dries. Just trying to blend as much as I can. Holy moly, I feel like on camera it looks so much brighter than what it is in person, I promise you guys. It is not this bright. So whatever's left on my beauty blender, I like to like run it to the middle of my nose just a little bit. And also on the forehead. Cause you know, when you're doing your makeup every day, you don't wanna just do, you don't wanna do a lot. I like to, well at least for me, I like to stick to the minimum, especially because um, when I do my makeup every day, mostly I'm just staying at home, working, um, filming. So. Nothing crazy, I just want to get ready for the day and go. All right, now that I have my concealer on my face, I'm going to set my concealer with the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder in Translucent. As you can see. Um, so this is also a drug store and I love this because some translucent powders are not really translucent and they look really white. This is literally translucent, so... I love it. So I'm going to put my beauty blender, dab that on there, and I'm going to just dab it right under my eye. And I just kind of let, let it bake for like a couple seconds. Um, I don't go too crazy with the baking. Just a little bit. A little bit does its job, you know. But I definitely have to bake because I do have really oily skin, especially if I'm going to be wearing this all day. Um, yeah, it's going to get a little crazy. So I let it bake. I'm going to drink some wine and I'm going to talk to you guys. So, uh, man, okay. I just want to say, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support throughout these years. Like it's been, I think four years since I started my YouTube channel. And I know like the first 
year first two years i was like super consistent with posting i was like on my a game and then you know life happens business my business started you know i've started doing my business which I'm, i do online coaching if you guys don't know i do one-on-one -on -one online coaching i come out with programs so that takes a lot of my time and i feel like i've been putting youtube on the back burner but i like i love making videos and i love talking to you guys it's just like my energy runs out at the end of the day when i am so focused on creating these programs so i made some changes um i'm focusing just on my one-on-one -on -one clients so i'm not doing any more challenges um i'm not coming out with any programs anymore um unless i'm gonna like renew it like if they're really old but i'm just focusing on getting one-on-one -on -one clients and focusing on you know really pushing and, and, and fulfilling my clients needs so now i have more time and more energy to focus back on my youtube channel and on instagram so i'm really excited about that so yes yeah, so drop below any um video requests you guys want to see from me like literally anything especially now that i'm trying to explore a little bit more than just fitness again like i said i am still going to do fitness videos i'm still going to be a very big fitness channel but i do want to bring on some like beauty stuff vlogging stuff so i do have some like ideas in the works or ideas brewing um, that I want to film for you guys that are going to be fun and exciting. So I really want to make this channel fun and I want to make this experience fun for the both of us. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back in the flow. I'm excited to get back to filming and things, things like that. So yeah. All right. So man, that wine is so good, you guys. You guys have to taste it. So I have this little fluffy bush. I really don't have a name to this. I think I got this from Daffle. And I'm just going to dust away the excess powder. And now I'm just going to do a bronzer. So for bronzer, I like to use the NYX uh, matte bronzer in medium so this one right here I love it it's like a very nice matte powder so I got a angled brush no angle brush and I just like to dab it like once and then just like lightly go into like the hollows of my cheeks and just build up from there So I kind of do like a slight like powder contour with my bronzer. Just try to blend it out. And the same on the other side. And this side is awkward too. <laughs> it's awkward to do it when you're looking down. I do it on the top. I kind of like to give myself like a bronzy bronzy look like as if like I just got a tan so slightly keep blending that in And then what we'll, I like to do a, just a little dab onto there and then I like to do the sides of my nose. It's kind of like a little slight contour. Obviously when I have more time and I want to put more effort then I put like I actually like put more effort into this but every day I'm just like I need to just put my makeup and go. So just literally do this to the sides. And since we already did that reverse like contour with a concealer it's just easy breezy from here. So I don't always do this, but sometimes I do put um, blush on. So I just like dab it once and then just kind of just at the apples on my cheeks. All right, so for highlighter, I like to use this Maybelline Master Chrome in rose gold, molten rose gold. Such a pretty rose gold shimmery color yes all right so i'm using this brush i really don't know what brush this is <laughs> and i just like to like really just pack it in there 
I have so many highlighters, so I like to like rotate them. So right now, this is my favorite highlighter. So I want to bring it, bring it up a little bit up here and to the side just slightly. See the highlight? Ooh. And then I like to do it in the bridge of my nose. So I take this little tiny brush and I like to just dab it and then just run it down the center of my nose. And the tip. And then under. Oh, got mascara. On my eyelid. Alright, and then just under my. Just a little bit under my brow bone. And then for the last part, you guys, that's it. We're almost done. Almost there. I like to use this um, CoverGirl. Um, eyeshadow little palette. They don't even sell this in the stores anymore. I actually have to order this from eBay. I've been using this for years. I literally just use one eyeshadow and it's this second one right here. Um, so I like to use it for my inner corners. And whenever I don't wear it, I feel like I look dead. So when I wear this, I feel like it just brightens up my eyes. So I literally just put it in the inner corners of my eye. And that's it um, and then I just do my lipstick and that's it you guys so for lipstick I mean I literally wear the same lipstick for I mean almost all the stuff I do I literally have been doing this for years I don't like to change it unless like I don't know I just feel like if it's not broke don't change it right don't fix it whatever the saying is so um, I always this is like my go-to lip is wet and wild and bear it all so 902 C it's a really nice nude color so I like to put this on first and then I use my uh, lip liner Revlon color stay in the color mauve and then recently I started using this Tarte Tarteiste lip paint in the color what color is this delish so I like to put this over it's just like a little bit darker than this color and it definitely mattifies it but this alone is amazing because it actually like moisturizes your lip and um, I love it so yeah and then I go with my lip liner I just feel like it's easier to put the lip liner afterwards I know some people do it before I just feel like my lips are just like I don't know I just feel like it looks better after so I like to overline just a little bit on the top so now that we have the lip liner then I go over with that Tarte um, lip paint and I just go over that And then for um, setting spray, I use two setting sprays. Um, so I like to use this Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. It's almost gone. <laughs> Put this on my face. And then, excuse me, I'm filming a video. It's so loud. This is what happens when you live in New York. Um, and then I like to use the MAC. Fix Plus. It's like a little baby one. I got a little chalk because I never used this before. I should kind of like it, so. And that's it. That is it for my everyday makeup routine. 
Um, it's very simple. Again, I don't use any foundation. I don't use eyeshadow. This is all I do um, for my makeup. And yeah, I literally can do this my makeup in like 10 minutes. Doesn't take me that long. And I feel like I look ready to go for the day. And you know, it's easy. And it's very inexpensive, all the stuff that I use. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is super different from what you guys are used to seeing from me on here on this channel. But, you know, like I said, I want to bring some fun and exciting new things onto this channel. Um, so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more makeup routines, because I do have a few more different other makeups I do for like special occasions and things like that. So if you guys want to see that, maybe like a full where I do foundation and everything. Let me know in the comments below and also let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Whether it's fitness related, nutrition related or whatever it is. Let me know. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.